Hello, fourth graders. Today we are doing our unit two, lesson six, which is on page 57 of your books. So go ahead and grab that and let's get started. Um, so in this lesson, we're talking about place value sections method and expanded notation method. And these both go along with that area model that we were talking about. And they're kind of similar. So um, let's just jump into it. You can use an area model to demonstrate the place value sections method. This strategy is used below for multiplying a one digit number by a two digit number. So here we have our area model. They put the factors on the sides. They have five and 27. They've broken the 20 and the seven apart based on their place value. And then inside the box, they're writing the five times 20 or the this factor times the tens place and this factor times the ones place. And then they put the answer inside the box there. Now, all we have left to do is to add those. So let's write our first um, partial product right here, 100. And then our second partial product right here, 35. Continuing to be careful about lining up our place value like we always do. And then we have five ones, three tens, 100, 135. Okay, now let's use the place value sections method to solve this problem. We're gonna make our own little, well, it's right here actually. Um, the fourth grade class is participating in a walkathon. Each student will walk eight laps around the track. There are 92 fourth grade students. How many laps will the fourth grade class walk? So here we have our single digit and our double digit. Our single digit we're putting on this side and our double digit we're breaking it by place value, 90 right here, two right there. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna have our, our single digit factor multiplied by both of them. And then we're gonna bring the place value chunks of our double digit factor into each of those. And now you can see why we spent so much time talking about multiplying things by 10, because eight times 90, well, you think, okay, that's eight times nine times 10, right? Then 90 is the nine times 10. And so from there, you can do eight times nine, which, think about it, is 72, and then times that by 10. So 72 tens is 720. Then eight times two is 16 and then all we have to do is add those up so 720 this product we're putting over there and this one we put underneath lining up our place value of course 0 plus 6 16 or 6 sorry and then uh 2 tens plus 1 tens 3 tens and 700 okay now we just solved that crazy problem that you might see somewhere that looks like this and we just solved it right by using our model okay I hope that you're getting comfortable drawing those rectangles too because we're gonna draw our own one right now draw an area model and use the place value sections method to solve the problem a football coach is ordering three shirts for each football player there are 54 players in the football program how many shirts does the coach need to order for the entire program so we're gonna draw our rectangle, the model, and then we'll set up our addition problem right here. We'll have our tens place and our ones place with the single digit factor right here, which is three. And then we'll break 54 into the tens and the ones in like expanded form, right? And we'll talk about expanded form in a moment. So uh, 50 plus four is 54. Now, we will, I set up my little equation there. We're gonna have this factor multiplied by both parts of 54. And this is where the 50 goes, and that is where the four goes. Now we think, okay, three times 50. Well, what's three times five? 15 times that by 10, 150. 
Okay. And then three times four. Hmm. Three times four is twelve. And then what do we do from here? Are we done? No, we need to add those up. So we'll put our 150, 150 there, and line up our 12 carefully underneath. 0 plus 2, 2. 5 plus 1, 6. And 1 plus nothing, 1. So the coach needs to order 162 shirts. Right? Yeah, shirts. And we just solved 54 times. All right. And the way your parents are probably familiar with doing this is first they start here, and then they go up, and then they start there, and they go diagonal. So they would do 3 times 4, which is 12. And then when I learned it in this way, we just said, then there's a magic zero over here. But really, it's because you're multiplying not just by 5, but by 50, right? Which I think is more clear in this model. So then... Uh, 3 times 5 is 15, and look at that, it's 150 plus 12, which is the same thing um, because of the commutative property of addition, right? Alright, so there's our place value sections model, it's just having that um, portion inside the boxes. A different way to look at it, but very similar, is just doing it all to the side right here, so leaving the boxes empty but writing in expanded notation or expanded form, the 27. Here, let's read the directions. I'm getting excited. Okay. You can also use an area model to show how to use the expanded notation method. Use the expanded notation method to solve 5 times 27 below. So here, we're multiplying 5 times 27. So it looks like this. We're 20. We're breaking up into 20 and 7, just like we did right there. The 5 is right here, and now we're making an equation for each of those. So 20 times 5, well, 5 times 2 is 10. 10 10s we know is 100, and then uh, 20, or sorry, oh, oh my gosh, 7 times 5, 7 times 5, 25, 35. Is 35. So 135. Okay. So basically, well, in the past one we did, we wrote it inside the box. Now we're just writing it to the side. And sometimes that might be better if the boxes are kind of small, or maybe eventually you can skip the box altogether and just. But keep the box if it's helpful for you. I like the box. It's really cute. Use the expanded notation method to solve the problem. Complete the steps. A farm stand sold four bushels of apples in one day. Each bushel of apples weighs 42 pounds. How many pounds of apples did the farm stand sell? So we have our single digit factor right here. Our double digit is broken down by place value still. And then we're gonna write the equations off to the side. So our 42, we broke into 40 plus 2. Our 4 just is 4. Now we're going to do our 40 times 4 and our 2 times 4. So 40 times 4, well, what's 4 times 4? 16. And then 16 tens is 160. 2 times 4 is 8. 160 plus 8 is 168. So 168 pounds of apple. Okay, here we go. Draw an area model and use the expanded notation. So we're going to draw our own rectangles right now um, to solve this problem. A marina, which is like a place where you have boats, or, yeah, place where you have boats, it needs to replace the boards on the pier. The pier is 7 feet wide, or 7 feet by 39 feet. 
what is the area? An area is a hint that you're going to multiply the length and the width, right? So here we have our dimensions. What is the area of the boards that need to be replaced? I'm going to draw a rectangle. And here we actually can make it a little bit smaller because we're not writing anything inside, right? So our single digit will go right there. Our double digit, we're breaking it by place value. 30 plus 9 equals 39. Then we will write, let's do 39 times 7. And then we're going to turn 39 into 30 plus 9. And then we do just 7. And then this time I'm going to do the ones digits first because we're just going to add them up, right? So it doesn't really matter. So then we'll put right here, we'll have our there, and then we'll add these up when we get them. Yeah, you can still see that. Okay, so we'll have our 7 times 9, and then we'll have our 7. 7 times 9, 12. Seven times thirty. Well, what's seven times three? Seven times three is twenty-one, and then times that by ten, two hundred ten. Twenty-one tens, right? Three plus zero is three. Six plus one is seven, and two hundred adding nothing is two hundred. So two hundred seventy-three. Uh, square feet. You put that little exponent right there, that little tiny two, to indicate that you're talking about square feet, not linear. Lineal feet. Okay, or linear feet. All right, my friends, thank you for joining me today. I hope either of these two models will become one of your favorites, and catch you next time. All right, bye-bye.